Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back. Did you bring any extra reeds? Oh, you I, pick I them out. Tw- I have twenty left after okay. what we just did, so we can plant somewhere when we get somewhere. Basically, we spent about two nights. Well, you were only here for one. I spent yeah. one night and got some gunpowder. There was a ni- decent amount of creepers around this area, so we had what forty-two gunpowders. We ended up with. Oh, was that how many? I only had twelve. So. Yeah, it was 42. So 42 gets us, I already had 10, so it gets us, it got two, us stacks. two stacks and 10 rockets. So it ended up making me have 64 and 10, which is funny because you told me you had 10 left. So I just gave you the stack and knew you were even. All right. So we need to go this way still. Um, I don't remember right, how to do this. Ready? Is it just a right click when, you, yep. when you're flying? Once we're in the air. Okay. All right, here we go. And we only made them. I know a lot of people in the comments said to, I should have made these like longer flight durations, but I personally didn't see the point because it's an extra gunpowder, which is our limiting factor right now, for one extra second of flight. Whereas instead, I can just use two rockets. Yeah, I mean, there may be something we don't know. Yeah, it's they may a, be it right. could make you drift longer or something like that. I have no idea. Right. I'm trying to like drift as long as I can before using my rockets this time. Yeah. Basically, once I start losing altitude, then I use another one. Oh, I'm letting it go down and then hitting it to go up again. Okay. Yeah, that might be smarter. Yeah. I think I was a little overzealous with it last time because I didn't realize until you guys said in the comments of the last video that we had of how far away this thing could possibly be. <laughs> I didn't think that the white dot showed at all unless you were within like a thousand blocks. So I didn't either, to be honest. Yeah. It was funny. Everybody wanted us to gear up and go. And then they're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. It could be like tens of thousands of blocks away. Like, wait, what? Actually, yeah, right now. Oops, I have my F3 up the whole time. Um, nine. We're coming up on 9,000, coming negative 10,000. So I guess we've. Quite a we s- we've gone like 7,000 blocks, I think. Um, a lot of ocean here. Yeah. I'm down to 56 in my stack, not counting the 10. Oh, I'm just using the 10 right now, and I have four left, so we're pretty on par with each other. So I've used a lot more than you then. Uh, I've used 14. Or used- wait, no. no nine, I've used, used nine. Not- yeah, you use actually less than me. I keep hitting that spot where the the screen catches up though, and it like yeah, it's real annoying. It makes me stop dead because I feel like I'm getting this good distance, then I'm just like stopped dead. Right, same. Whoa! I, just, I heard oh you. Oh my god! I hit a tree. <laughs> I was. I... There we go. I think I'm gonna get my uh, shield out of my hand. Whoa! When you bring up your 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 body, <laughs> your body's in a weird spot. My body's pretty. It's a beautiful body. You see that? That we hit E. You're like, oh, <laughs> you're like upside down in the thing. Oh, that is funny. <laughs> hey, llamas. Okay, I took the map. Mm, that was a big mistake. I took my shield out of my hand, and then picking up the map. Yeah, you have to keep your shield in your hand if you want to look at the map in the air. Apparently, that's, that's weird. Why is that? Because otherwise, it holds it in both hands, and you have to like look straight down to actually look at the map, which makes you fall towards the ground. Oh, I see, I see. <laughs> so, you know, we've talked about before that I have, uh, um, I'm a, for the most part, as a driver, I'm a very, like, courteous driver. I, uh, I hate it when people try to, like, you know, zip out in front or cut you off or anything like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we, we, oh, Water Temple. Um, a water temple? Like Guardians? Yeah. Is there any reason to go there? Uh, no. <laughs> Not that I can think of. <laughs> okay. Sponges? Do you want some sponges? No. Do some cleaning? Good. <laughs> the other couple, like two weeks ago, I think it was, I was, uh, we were coming back. I had to pick Julie up at the airport. And we were coming back and literally got to a spot where traffic just stopped dead. And. I had known going to the airport that there was a lot of traffic going the other way, but I mean, it was just like stopped, dead, pretty confident there must have been an accident, like somewhere up there that was going on, back coming back into the city on like a Friday night. Mm-hmm. <laughs> of course, Julia is what you call the opposite of a courteous mm-hmm. driver, I guess would be. And I was driving, and she goes, 
She goes, uh, this lane's not moving, so get in the right lane. That's the only one that's moving. And I said, you know as well as I do that that lane is an exit-only lane for the next exit. She's like, well, yeah, you'd have to swerve back in a little bit later um, in, uh, in this traffic, but, you know, it'll, it'll get us moving. I was oh, like, my God. I said, no. <laughs> no. Absolutely not. <laughs> I am not going to do that. You know I don't drive like that. Well, yeah, yeah but it's the only it's the only lane that's moving. It's not a big deal. You just have to swerve back in uh, later before that exit closes. I said, for one. No. Again, I'll just say no. <laughs> for, for two, how am I going to swerve back in when the traffic isn't moving? Like, you can't get out of a lane or get back in. You're just in. that jerk that's up there with his turn signal on. Everyone knows what you've done, and, done. And blocking that other lane, the only lane that's moving because it's an exit lane, all you would end up doing is blocking the only lane that's actually moving because it's exiting off of the freeway. Yeah. So we lit we sit there. I end up putting the car in park. Uh, that's a witch hut. Um, for like 10 solid minutes. We didn't move. And wow. she goes... You know what? Actually, we can probably get off at the next exit and loop around just like not on the the expressway and find a way to loop around back to you know where we need to go. And I was like, yeah, you know, it's probably at this point a good idea because we're obviously not moving anywhere. So let me move into the uh, right lane. And of course, it takes me a minute to get into the right lane because now there's lines of cars of people who are trying to get around everybody um, and then trying to do that last minute like swerve thing back in, which is exactly the predicament, you know, that. I didn't want to get into anyway. So I finally get into the right lane and start going, and we get stopped behind, you know, at a line of cars, and up in the front of the cars, I can see one car with his turn signal trying to get in, blocking everybody <laughs> else trying to go through. I have no idea, though, if there's, like, I'm assuming that there's also multiple of these other cars who are doing the exact same thing um, at this point. And it was clearly marked, too. It's not like it wasn't marked that it was an exit only. And it was like, the, you know, oh, what just happened here? You know, it's very clearly marked. <laughs> I swear to God. Now that I'm in this lane, actually trying to get out of, off of the expressway to the exit only, which is what this lane is for. <laughs> Julie goes, God, this is so annoying. Stupid dicks who are trying to sneak through in this lane <laughs> are stopping us from getting off the exits. <laughs> <laughs> I just looked and I was like, are you serious right now? <laughs> like, we literally just had the argument that you wanted me to do that exact thing. <laughs> Straight up uh, telling me all I'll have to do is try to swerve back in later. And what did she say? I, she, I think she just like, I, I just gave her the look. I just kind of like looked over with the really, and I think she like, she knew. <laughs> But everything, you know, oh, everything's funny. situational. It's one of those, we're not moving, we should be moving, let's move to, <laughs> like, it doesn't matter who else is, like, hurt in the process, or not really hurt in the process, quote-unquote, but... Inconvenienced. Um, you know what, I'm going to stop at this village. I don't know where you're at. I'm going to see if in these chests oh, is any, if there's any gunpowder, just to... Okay, we're at, I'm at 12,000, negative 13,000. Oh, I'm at 13,000, negative 15,300. Jesus. Yeah, I must have. I have 44 rockets left, too. I think that's decent. I have 48. Uh, yeah, yeah, so we're we're on par. I was just guiding better, maybe? Or faster? Maybe using yours more frequently? I started really letting it drift. Well, I mean, I'm only four. I've only used four more rockets than you. Yeah, I'm wondering if I'm going to catch up. You, I'm two two more rockets away from using the same number as you have. I just I'm in now 13, 14. I just wanted to check these chests to see if there's any uh, uh, gunpowder in them. But holy crap, there's, it's super laggy and there's a lot of enemies here. It's probably laggy because I'm generating terrain. Oh, that's you just generated true. a bunch of terrain. Yeah, so 13,000, negative 15,300. I'm at 13,000, negative 14,000. Yeah, you must have got much better drifts than me because I'm hitting my. I'm going to go down to 44 right now. I almost don't know if it's worth it for you to stop. I don't see any places that have a chest in this village. Okay. I wonder if villagers can trade for gunpowder. I know we talked about this last time. We don't really know. Oh, God. Oh, God. Did you go through these ice spires? Uh, I do not recall ice spires. Huh. I'm in a, It's a desert village. 
Yeah, this is this is not worth it to stop. So if you're still going, just keep going. Okay. Yeah, there's nothing. Ooh. Dude, these uh, I need to get to a mountain so I can take off. I guess I probably don't need to get to a mountain. You just pillar up. Woo! You can do it right from the ground. It just takes the right angle and yeah. stuff, right? I, I luckily did it because man, a spider came flying at me faster than I ever seen before. <laughs> Maybe he had fireworks. I somehow lost north. I lost like direction. That was weird. I ended up taking off from like twelve hundred or twelve thousand five hundred or something like that. That was weird. I'm at see my X and my X and Z are almost identical. Uh, mine aren't quite identical. I'm at thirteen negative. Come up negative sixteen. I'm probably going more. Yeah, it sounds like you're going more to the left. Yeah, because I can try to get back on track by going this way. The map hasn't changed. Really? I'm in a canopy area. God, we got to be generating so much terrain. Yeah. Oh, that's rain. I was wondering why the sound sounded so different. How many rockets do you have left? 38. Okay, 41. Yeah. I'm flying through a blizzard right now. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm I'm in rain, so we're not in the same biomes. No. Where are you at? 13? I'm at 15, 15. Oh, 15, 15. No, I'm in rain. Okay, I'm at 14, 16, so a little differences. I'm just going to go back to get to 16,000. And then go to a better angle. Oh, god damn it. Stupid stopping. So we've gone over 10,000 blocks at this point, I'm pretty sure. Somebody in my comments said something about... Here's another village. Does it have anything good? It does not look like it. Um, somebody said it was so many... Minimum of so many blocks past the last loaded chunk. So I don't know if it generates it when you make the map or if they're always see like I have no idea how that works. Like could we ever find this thing without the map or do you need the map to find this thing? I mean, technically you could find anything in this game if you wander around enough, right? So I mean, there's no way you could say you couldn't find it. You don't think it I generates only after you've created like a Oh, I see what you're saying. No, probably not, because it, they, they have to be in certain biomes, for example. So this biome had to be part of this seed and so on and so forth. You know what I mean? You know how, like, uh, there's those programs at, at Vast or no, at Vast, that's a virus program. Um, I, I, I've heard of that, though. You know what I'm talking about, though. The program that lets you look at a seed and see where oh, yeah, yeah. certain things are at. Yeah. Well, that's that's all this is doing. It's using that same, that same algorithm. That doesn't seem as exciting. This is supposed to be an adventure, man. An adventure well, this is an adventure. Else. You didn't have you to download any third-party application. This is inside the game. Yeah, but, but what if somebody found it already? What if we get there and it's been raided? If that's happened, then I will eat a hat. <laughs> just a hat. <laughs> yeah, just any hat. The first hat I see. <laughs> For, yeah, walking down the street tomorrow, some man walks by with a hat on, taking it and eating it. I really hope somebody's been here. I doubt it, but I really hope somebody's been here now. Just so I rob a man of his hat and eat it? <laughs> yes. I mean, I have some hats in my house. I'll see a hat before I leave, so. God, this bl going through a blizzard is kind of terrible in this. Yeah, you can't see shit. Okay. I'm not at 27, by the way. Uh, I'm at 30. Where are you at? I'm at basically 16. 16, 5. 17, 5. 17.5 on both sides? Yeah, seven. Uh huh. Oh, yeah. So you've, got, you've made some room. I made some room. You made some room. It's like you need a second dinner. <laughs> did you hear that uh, <laughs> Europe's out of chicken? I did KFC's see the shutting down. They have Caesar closing everywhere. Yeah. Is it bread chicken? I don't know what it is. I don't know why they're out of chicken. It seems like it's a weird thing to be out of. 
It does seem kind of strange, because aren't they really bad for, uh, for beef? Because remember when we went to MineCon and you had to put in your order so early if you wanted to get the beef because they had to like have it shipped in? Yeah, yeah. Steak's not steak's just not a common thing there. Well, like it is here. They but don't I have mean, vast amounts of land like Texas to grow a bunch of cows in, you know? So if they don't have chicken either, I mean, what do they got? I, uh, I don't know. Tofu. <laughs> tofu. London, so known for the tofu. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, I guess fish. <laughs> Everyone's having I mean, the fish, fish chips, course tonight. That's for sure. Yeah, 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 there you go. Dude, there's like a. Oh, that's just a cloud through that. I thought there was a sky fortress. It was clouds coming <laughs> in through the, the through the rain, and I was so confused. Uh... Yeah, some people suggested that we move like ten thousand blocks in the Nether first. But man, traveling in the nether is such a pain in the ass. I guess if you do it up on the top, it's not so bad. But Well, and if we do it with rockets and hope we don't hit any gas or fall into lava. Oh, Jesus Christ, no. <laughs> God, that'd be, a, that'd be an adventure. Yeah, that would be an adventure. One I'm not willing to take. Hell, and now that we have this, we could go get like a bunch more elytras in the end. That is true. It would, it would This does make getting elytras easier. Yeah, having an elytra it makes getting elytras easy. Right. The irony. It's kind of like jetpack and modded. If you have a jetpack, it's easy to get all the things. Okay, I'm, I've am i been over an ocean for a little while now. I'm getting a little nervous. I'm at uh, 1919 now. God, you, I'm at 19, negative 18. I've kind of turned. I'm over a swamp. One of my directions. How many rockets you got left? 19. Okay, I'm at 21 and about a thousand blocks away from you. I hope people like videos of flying, flying through the air. Rain. <laughs> uh, Another village. I haven't seen shit other than snow and then rain and then snow. Are you flying up really high? Uh, no. I'm actually about to hit the ground. Need to get some more. I'm at 140. My, my Y. After that last burst. Hmm. <laughs> I guess the biggest question is, how are we going to make it back now? <laughs> I think back is definitely going to be another thing, right? I Yeah, but that's still a long ways in the... Yeah, we could just stay here. Another. We could make the mansion ours. <laughs> Come back someday. The silo we will remain intact. Yeah. No, we could stay a little while. So, I mean, <laughs> we, we do have all the villagers. We'd... Yeah. That dot hasn't done look any bigger or anything. It's the biggest wild goose chase. Can you imagine doing this without a lot of rockets? Oh, it'd be like your life. <laughs> this is your life. Because, I mean, unless you know the coordinates. Like, I'm really curious. Maybe going in the nether does, like, show where it's at. Oh, I found a... Oh, it's just a village. I thought I found it. It was just a really, really made village. It'd be really funny if we flew over a mansion in all of this. <laughs> we had no idea. I mean, it's yeah. possible. I mean, hell, Packrat found that one pretty close to spawn, right? I think Packrat just built one. I don't oh, think that was an actual mansion. Built one? Oh. Yeah, no, but Baj and Pyro found one early on. Oh. Well, I'm at 10 rockets left, and I'm at 20, about, about 20, negative 20. Not quite. I'm at 24, I'm at 25, 25. Or 20, 2500, 2500, and I have 14 left. 25,000, hopefully? No, 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 no. 20,500. Oh, 20,500. Oh, 20,500 on both sides? Yeah. Oh, okay. Hold on. I'm close to... I'm you. almost to 21, actually, now. I just took another rocket. 21. Took it. Okay. Should I land at 21? Well, I mean, it's uh, about to be daytime. There's no reason to land, right? Well, there's only nine rockets left. I mean, I only have a, I don't have enough rockets to get very much farther. We should probably be together for the next part of the journey, right? To get... That's true. All right, there's so I'll land down at 21, 21. That was weird. I've got a... 
I gotta get back in the air because I was trying to get to 21. So 21, 21. I could probably actually. Well, that's a ravine. Oh god, there's a skeleton. That's no good. All right, I've landed at 2921. 20. I, I don't understand. Say this again now. 20,900, negative 21. 20,900. I'll get up on. I wish I had two redstone sticks to hold in the air. Should be coming up in like 400 blocks. Ah, uh, what? What what just happened? I went into a tree. Huh. Did you die? Oh, uh, yes. Yes, I did. Oh the god. Game, the game lagged on me. And then What were your coordinates? I, I came back uh, 21,014 and negative 20,587. Yeah, I'm okay. going to get my elytra. I go get your stuff and then I don't know. I don't know what we do from there. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Maybe through the nether or something. I don't know. That's a long, long ways. Uh, but send me the coordinates either way. Like type them in chat. Okay. I guess it's in the episode here. Okay. <laughs> see <ya. laughs> we'll see you guys next time.